hair not washed, whole thing, apparently I'm thinning at the top of my head, you know, it might be from, like, the stress of my upcoming thing, or just the fact that I've been, like, you know, brushing it, or I'm old enough now, it's been a fucking week, bro, I've not been good, uh, I haven't gotten my medicine for, like, over a month now, I still haven't moved my medicine over, this new pharmacy that might actually be able to get it to me but in all reality this is something else entirely so it's like this is why we think dark matter is a thing in dark energy which i totally agree is a thing okay but because of electron potentials because of gravity field dissipation and the ability for it to possibly start acting on interstellar media that because it's that large effectively might genuinely dissipate a little bit into it and create more of that uh big electron field potential repulsive force creating electrons initially and then of course it it moves right so anyways point is what that means is like that's an extra degree of energy unaccounted for and when i look at because of the reason why which actually i haven't watched that video by dr becky so you know there you go but i saw the title and i'm like i actually do agree that dark matter and dark energy exists <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like the the way that we currently calculate things is not super wonderfully perfect. That's just a thing that we all know about, right? And the amount of actual perceived uh, total neutron density is is such that it's like, well, we, we're going off of our best guess from a star that we orbit and how often we ultimately happen to detect the amount of neutrons that we get from it and or stellar collisions around us right however we don't really know uh how much resultively speaking over a given enough distance some of that might swing back in or gets caught and sticks around for a lot longer in galaxy sized gravitational fields so and it's kind of a, a misnomer when we go like man we've we've got it all figured out right but at the same time, I was like, I do agree. I just am also that guy that goes, I'm really stupidly cautious with the idea that it's all this currently, right? Like we'll eventually go like, no, there's probably something like this that's there. And oh, actually there might be a thermodynamic play when it comes down to blue shifting a given direction of light that then gets converted into, you know, a type of in increased kind of like a light pump, I suppose. Uh, directionality to that light's influence and uh, you know kinetic energy that it puts out right now there's, there's there's nothing to capture that we have we have fucking gearboxes made out of magnets we do you fucking stupid piece of shit are you uh, how stupid are you <laughs> like i like it because it's it's one of those people you know that inevitably it's like i have I have a doctorate, and I'm like, yeah, no, probably in some other unrelated... I'm just a science enthusiast, bro. I, I am no... I am in no way the equivalent of someone that's like that. However, because I, I look and think at it, about it, I look at it and I think about it so much, it's like, well, yeah, no, that, there's no reason why that wouldn't be able to ultimately influence it and still give us a degree of a kick and a given push and squeeze, so to speak. You know, and when you think about that, it's like, well, that's not really being as accounted for because we don't really know how much that might be. Because it's kind of hard to know that. I mean, our heliosphere then got transferred into like, well, the magnetosphere of the heliosphere might start influencing a mysterious B over here that's you know, only about five light years away. I'm like, <laughs> you're not helping. <laughs> I agree. But Jay, could you could you like really kind of define you know this this could you no because it's it changes like yeah no I know it changes because the problem is with the decoherence then too for informational quantum systems it starts turning into that versus a classical to the wave you know and then there's that hybrid kind of like this amount of ratio of classical to this amount of ratio of the way the kind of thing starts getting kind of rough. You know, and it, it, that's like the weird quasi realm of thermodynamics, which it exists as both. That's why I also tend to head towards that. Thermodynamics are really, really good at that, along with fluid dynamics. You have to treat them phononically, you know, as like they're their own wave function, right? 
So if you can understand them, then it's like, well, <laughs> then they get a lot better at it. You know what I mean? At being able to like bridge some of those gaps. <sighs> and I still go with a wave function is still a quantized thing that's still quite classical in that very real sense. You know, even if we don't like to imagine it like that, it's just like a different media. You know, it's like this element, right? It's like, right, but it's vibrating, blah, 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 blah. Yes, but it's very classical. It's like this. It exerts this amount of energy. Yeah, okay, sure, you know, but then you did this, and then now it's changed its properties. The molecular, which is what you'd go with for classical, but of course, this is not classical. This is subatomic, quantum. And so, like, the energy changed, and the properties of the given medium changed. So, of course, if you can understand that, then it's like, well, yeah, no, if you understand that that changes, then that's the same thing happens still, just yet again. Same thing. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really make much sense to really go along with this idea that it that it doesn't really do that, right? But it's like we would prefer it to be different in all ways. And like I don't care though. <laughs> like it doesn't change the truth, right? Like it's like it's still the same thing, regardless of if it's a wave function or not, it's still the same thing. It just changed its properties. That's why it's a thermodynamic and that's why it's also a fluid, not a field. Right? But, you know, then you have to get into, like, astrophysicists will never agree to fluid dynamics being a part of our large movie things that are very big and stiff and round. <sighs> yeah, but they start looking quite similar here. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> they look rather fucking similar. Okay. Are you sure <laughs> they'll never? Because it seems like there's a couple of these, though, that, you know, let's imagine I had a big old thing of math over there. But they basically describe it the same damn way, but it's just a different fluid medium property because of the energies and the distances and the, ultimately speaking, time it takes for anything to happen. But it's like, no, let him talk and he's going to be sounding stupid. But it's like, hey, I don't, though. Like, anyone that's worth their salt that's already there already knows this. You know what I mean? And so it's like, you know, it's more likely just a bunch of dumb people, typically, that find themselves to be quite smart and intelligent, but they aren't. You know what I mean? Like, they never really thought about it for very long, right? But if you ever do, then it's like, well, you know, they all start looking that way. And anyone that's ever really talked to you that knows about that will say that it's the same damn thing I'm saying. You know, it's all well and good as a science presenter to, to, you know, present that to a public, but they have to dumb it down an awful lot, right, for us. But, like, that's why we, we start thinking about, like, quantum tunneling for information systems, like, for a black hole. It's like, well, it makes total sense for the vast majority of them that are really knowledgeable about it, then they do tend to agree on that side. But then, like, no, 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 because it's not, and all that is... is <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no one agrees with that. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there's no way that that's what that is. We just don't have, like, that technology to go over to the fucking... And, you know, stuff like this, right? And for instance, though, the reason why I think that about the thermal dynamic system for the light is because it's the same thing for the information system of gravity for a tiny, tiny little black hole versus a very, very large one on the event horizon. You know, it's the equivalent of, like, the crab gets sucked into the tiny squeeze hole, you know, as the water gets rushed in, Right? Versus, like, there's a big one, and they go whoosh all together with it, right? You know, but that's, you know, amount of gravity over the total surface area. And it's like, well, we're talking about a galaxy here, and there's a lot of electromagnetic. There's a lot of, you know, mass that moves and potentials that change. You know, and so when we don't know that amount, and we don't know the amount of subatomic that's going on, then we start getting into the realm of, ouch! <sighs> Well, we're pretty sure it's something to do with a lot of this. <laughs> okay. But that's not helping as much as you think, though. Could you narrow it down a little? <laughs> could, could we perform some tests and maybe really hone in on this? You know, could we maybe get there? <laughs> no. <clears throat> so we're just relegated to debating this, huh? I'm just going wait, to wait around and maybe something changes and then we'll figure it out from there, right? Yeah? <laughs> No, we're actively doing things. No, okay, what are you doing? You said you weren't going to do any tests. We're doing tests, just not... Shut up over there, okay? I <laughs> see what you're doing. You know, fuck you. <laughs> what me? What am I doing other than just explaining the truth of, like, this is clearly a thing that has to be going on because logically, obviously, it makes no sense for it to not be going on. 
So obviously it's a thing, right? You know, fuck. <laughs> but it's it's just that thing where when you present it to a bunch of people that doesn't really translate well. You know what I mean? That like kind of thing doesn't translate well, right? And so like what you'll say is like, oh, it's like this and this is what we'll think about it as. But it's like there are a lot of other factors that go into that that there's no way that they don't know about. And then they start looking stupid, right? You know, it's like a lot of people that don't, and they're not going to talk about all those other factors. And it's like, yeah, no, but those are those are big things. And when we're talking about these kinds of scales, and we don't know the blob levels of those things going on, because that's kind of what that is. It's like this is the area of effect bubble blob thing that's moving around, doing the quantum looking ass motherfucking pop in random bullshit that seems to be a thing that happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they're like, no, it's not. We don't do that here. <laughs> But you do. It's there's no way you're not, you know. But then you start scaling it. It's like, what the fuck? Are you sure, man? It looks pretty kind of similar. Man. <laughs> but you know, far be it for me, because we're talking about huge, massive systems that think, you know, conceptually for us, to mean nothing, right? Like they they're, they're not a big deal. There's not much energy. There's nothing. And it's like no. There's a lot though. There's a lot there. There's a fuck ton. We know that, right? So, like, it makes no sense to imagine that type of quantum foam, so to speak, on that scale not meaning anything, right? But it's like it definitely does, and then it grows into a different size of scale for bigger classical things, right? And so then we end up getting into that, what are we going to do on that side? It's like we don't do anything. You know, we don't have enough money. <laughs> it's like, science isn't getting as far. There's not a lot of money. You know, <clears throat> you know I mean, I saw that one. And for some beam house fell there, and I was like, there's not a lot of money there to be made. <laughs> you know, and basically making it so that way it's a lot more difficult for them to get away with essentially saying, yeah, but, you know, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> that kind of thing, right? And it's like, Rrr. That's not great. Anyways, have fun. Bye.